Hey, Avenue Church, Pastor Ken here with some follow-up thoughts as we have concluded our study in the books of Ezra and Nehemiah. And I hope that, you know, this study has been meaningful for you. And, uh, you know, as I've been thinking about what's next, it's always hard for me to kind of sit in the moment and wrestle with or digest application from something that that I just learned or studied it's natural for me to just rush into what's next and preparing for that and getting excited for that. And I don't know about you, but like new things excite me. Uh, Sometimes I'm not great about finishing things, but I really like starting things. So I don't know if any of you can relate to that. At any rate, I'm excited about what's coming next. And uh, we're gonna do a series in November called Identity Theft, and we are going to be studying the book of Ephesians. And I am so excited for this, not only because I love the book of Ephesians, but that we're going we're gonna to kind of use the theme of you know, who we are and how the world tries to steal our identity in Christ uh, through many, many, many different forms. Uh, so it's going to be very relevant, very applicable to the world that we live in today. But again, that's what's coming next. So it's not the point of this video. The point of this video is in a way to just get me to slow down for a second and think about um, not only what did I learn about God and through the study of his word, but how's it going to change me? In other words, it's really important to have good theology but it's also important to have good praxeology. Now, I know what you're thinking, Pastor Ken, you know, you're just throwing big words around to try to look smart. And yes, I am. But let's talk about this real quick. Theology, theo is is God. Ology is the study of. Praxeology is from praxis, which means the habit or actions like human action, intentional human action, and the study of. And so while good theology informs our minds about who God is and what he has done and all of the, all of the realities of the gospel, our praxeology actually says, okay, so now what? Like, how's that going to affect how I live? how I talk, how I think, how I respond. All of that is our praxeology. That is actually where the rubber meets the road. And so I guess for for me to just kind of have a little bit of a a time to share with you guys how I'm processing that, I think my biggest takeaway in, in practical terms from the study of the book of Ezra, Ezra and Nehemiah is the fact that while, you know, temples and walls are important, uh, they don't go to heaven. And so it's, it's a challenge in my practical life to really prioritize people over things, over projects, over temporary things. People are forever. We are made in God's image. We have an immaterial soul that I can't explain how, but I believe with all my heart that, that, you know, death is not the end of us as people. And so because of that, people are enduring, people last forever in one state or another. And that's just been a challenge to me to think about how much of my time and effort is consumed with temporary things compared to eternal things. And that's really my big praxeology application is to prioritize people, prioritize developing relationships with people, prioritizing helping people take their next steps towards Jesus that will lead them to an eternity with God and in enjoying God forever. And that's that's the goal. And so uh, I don't know. Man, I'd love to have a response from you to see how you are wrestling with the praxeology of uh, our study of Ezra and Nehemiah. Maybe you have a completely different application than what I've landed on, and I'd love to hear about it. So I'm excited to be on the journey with you. Thanks for taking the time to listen to me ramble some more. God bless.